and this video i'm going to be revealing to you a crucial product in the car detailing world that you can easily find locally for about three to four dollars welcome back to my channel guys and if you are new here i am randy with beyond limits of palm beach mobile detailing as mentioned in today's episode i will show you all a product that i've actually been using for some time now at a professional level a product that in my opinion is professional grade and a hidden gem as not many may know about it you can actually find this locally if you are in the u.s and best of all it is only about four u.s dollars when i mention that you can find this product at a local store i mean it because who doesn't have a walmart in or near your neighborhood of course besides hawaii so let's go ahead into walmart and see what this mystery product actually is Alrighty guys, so we are now inside Walmart and believe it or not, this product will not be in the car wash section, rather where all the windshield wipers and washer fluids are at. So the product everyone is waiting for, let's go ahead and check it out in three, two, one. It's none other than this bug and tar remover sponge, two-sided sponge by Rain-X. So as you guys can see, this product here is $3.64, roughly four US dollars. Believe it or not, finding a bug remover sponge that is effective and safe is very hard to do so. And that is why I was very surprised when I gave this sponge a try for the first time and saw how safe and well it worked. Now, I'm sure you can find some that are effective and safe online or elsewhere, but maybe for a pretty penny. The reason this one blows my mind is because it does all you need to do professionally for only about 3 to $4, and it is easily accessible at your local Walmart. Coming from someone who in the beginning struggled with being able to get rid of bugs on the front bumper or mirrors of a vehicle and have bought a ton of bug remover sponges, this one is definitely the best in my opinion and super safe if used correctly. So if you're a beginner and looking for the right sponge to remove those bugs on a bumper, look no further. I've tried tens of bug remover sponges, so you don't have to. And just for the record, in no way, shape, or form is this a sponsored video. I am just sharing with you guys a golden gem. There's also many other bug remover sponges that you can buy locally at a retail level. However, I feel as I've tested many, it most happen to be either ineffective, they stop working after the first use, or some are truly just not safe to use on paint as they can actually scratch and chip off paint from your vehicle. So let me go ahead and give you guys a demo on how you can actually use this sponge over here, whether you are using a bug remover solution, an all-purpose cleaner, water, or any other chemical. Go ahead and spray it on your vehicle on the paintwork after you pre the vehicle of course and finally grab your sponge facing the gray mesh side and start working it with light hand pressure on the actual paintwork so whether you are removing bugs off the bumper whether you're removing stains or residue of the paintwork the windshield even the mirrors this sponge over here will get the job done for you and all you have to do afterwards is rinse it
A lot of people in general think that using a pressure washer alone can get rid of bugs in a bumper. However, that is not the case and not to mention it is not safe whatsoever for your paintwork as you are running the risk of stripping your paint out of your vehicle with so much pressure. Another note to keep in mind is there are many chemicals and solutions out there that claim to get rid of bugs by simply spraying on the bumper and rinsing afterwards. And to be quite honest, some do work, but it all depends on how long some bugs may have been stuck in the paint. And in my experience, eight out of 10 times, you will most likely have to bring out a sponge to help with the agitation and removal of the bugs. Again, you can use this on your bumper, on your headlights, your mirrors, the windshield of the vehicle, and if done correctly with little to no pressure on your vehicle surface all around. And that's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it incredibly helpful. If you did, please do me a favor and hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and press that subscribe button as well. Click the notification bell button to be in the loop of all my videos like this one in the near future. As always, guys and girls, see you on the next one.